Welcome to this video. Windows 10 support ends on October 14th, 2025. This is coming up very quick. And what this means is that security support and updates from Microsoft will stop and will no longer be released to Windows 10. And this does need to be taken seriously because going forward into the future, if there is an exploit or some sort of security flaw, it's not going to get patched. And for a variety of reasons, people are going to be tempted to remain on Windows 10. And that is a risk. That is a security risk. I know there's going to be people who are going to say they've done it with Windows 8 or Windows 7 and that they quote didn't have any issues. A couple things on that. Number one, just because you have not encountered an issue doesn't mean you won't in the future. Number two, it is possible you did have an issue and didn't know it. And I will also add that if someone fails to upgrade or update to a currently supported operating system and someone else takes that advice and does it themselves and then runs into a security problem, well, now there's a line of responsibility there. With the deadline looming, the question is, what are your options? Microsoft is going to push for you to do one of these three things, which includes number one, upgrading to Windows 11. Or if your computer does not support Windows 11, they want you to buy a new PC, which a lot of people don't want to do. You can sign up for ESU, which is extended security updates. This does cost money. I assume most people are not going to want to spend money to do this. However, for those of you who do, I am going to link to this guide. In short, you go into the Windows Update menu you look for the enroll now option click on that and it will walk you through the step but there are a lot of other operating system options out there that you can look to you do not necessarily need to stick with a windows os for example mac os obviously this does cost money you need to buy a mac that may not work for you but i do want to list it as an option chrome os is available on chromebooks again you're probably not looking to buy a new computer but it is an option chrome os flex actually will work on your current pc I personally am not a fan of Google. They're not privacy oriented and this is not something I would put on my own personal hardware. But again, I do support options and so I am going to list this as an option. But if we're going to segue into Linux, some of the distros I would recommend looking into that are user friendly, easy to switch to, not nearly as intimidating. Linux Mint comes up a lot. Ubuntu comes up. Pop OS. These are all good options for new users. And I know a lot of people on Windows are gamers and that is a big reason why people stick with Windows. And maybe you're on a Windows computer that does not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11. And so you want to stick on Windows 10 so you can continue playing games. It is true that you cannot play as many games on Linux as you can on Windows, but the library is growing. And so I would at least take a look to see what you play and what of those are supported in Linux. Pop OS is an operating system that is geared a little bit more towards gaming and is user friendly and good for new users. Fedora is another good option. This one definitely does a much better job with privacy and security out of the box than the other options I've mentioned. If you really want to take privacy and security to the next level and want to learn a lot, Cubes OS is definitely something worth looking at. It's not user friendly, but again, if you're serious about privacy and security, this is one that you want to check out. The point being, whatever your use case, whatever you do on the daily, there is a lot of Linux distros out there. Yes, it takes a little research, maybe a little education and learning, but if you really don't or can't go to Windows 11, I don't recommend just sitting on Windows 10. There are alternative options, which include free options. You do not need to pay for any of these Linux distros that I've mentioned. All of them can be downloaded and installed on your computer. But again, the point I want to make is don't just sit on Windows 10 and just assume that you're going to be fine without the security updates. Please be proactive. Please take it seriously. You can impact other people by not being secure yourself. And I actually think a lot of people will be happier with Linux if they give it a shot. If you really, 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 really want to stay on Windows, you should do at least one of these three, unfortunately, which is upgrading to Windows 11, buying a new PC if your current one does not support Windows 11, or you can pay for extended service. Again, this is only for one additional year. If we all take security seriously, we all benefit. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month. The thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.